Hello fellow gaming fans, my name is Quardox. welcome to the Austrian Gaming Vault to another Lord of the Rings online tutorial. It's actually my first tutorial, <laughs> so today I'm showing you how to make a healing emblem for your captain. You see here I prepared some experience bubbles, some relics and uh, third age emblems where we can get our legacies and I also have the new first age symbol, healing emblem and a relict removal scroll and to the right here three mats for the uh, fourth relict for your weapon which we have to craft later and all we need now is uh, we're still missing a few things so first of all we are in Snowborn and at this barter you can find uh, uh, scrolls for your weapon and your or your emblem or whatever you need <laughs> you have many different things here you can choose from what I will take is uh, an enduring might 2 so we get uh, tactical mitigation and uh, might stat on our emblem and okay this will be a fast tutorial I port to Enetwide and now I'm on my way to Han Tyrion where we will uh, we will get another two scrolls with fate and might for later and what we also need are three crystals and a scroll of the delving so you can add ten levels to your weapon but we will get that in Galtref at the skirmish camp so now I'm porting to Gartref. It's, I think, the best city for crafting. You have everything you need there. You have the auctioneer, you have a crafting area, a skirmish camp, and in the middle here, where I am now, you can see the relic master. And. And then the forge master, yes. <laughs> okay, then in the background, you can also see the skirmish camp here. Alright, and the first thing we want to do is get rid of all these relics here. So I will show it to you in uh, the time-lapse view so that it doesn't take that long. You have to be very careful so you don't uh, destruct your, your new symbol if it isn't locked. How to lock it I will show you in a few minutes how that is done. So first of all we need some space in our legendary items window. I all already have uh, three weapons prepared at level 31. It's always the the best level if you want to destruct your weapon so you get the most EP bubbles and relics out of the weapon. And you can also uh, choose a stat, a legacy from the weapon and Oh, you see how to lock and unlock things here. You can also do it with the Alt and left click on the mouse and then with Control T you can lock and unlock it. Yeah, now we are just destructing those weapons, so we have space. And okay, let's get it on. <laughs> Hopefully we have uh, a few stats we can use. It isn't that tragic at the captain's emblem because we just need three A legacies and the the rest can be pull B legacies. It doesn't have to be... I, I don't have to have uh, five pull A legacies or something. I just need three. So if you don't get a fourth, it's not that tragic. First of all, I want to level the new emblem to level 30. So we get three new item stats. Maybe for your class, when you have a hunter or a champion, you do need actually four or maybe five pulley legacies. In my case, at the healing emblem, I just need three. So I, you can also give your emblem a name here. My emblem is called Moralakwa. Always have it, always will. <laughs> always had it. <laughs> like this name so what we use here it's, it's not that important because I don't need anything of this so just choose one and we will 
replace it later with fate or might. You can see my weapons on, at level 20 because I put four EP bubbles on there. And now at the second one at level 20 I choose the cooldown from Shield of the Dunedain. I need that for the PvP and the third stat. It's not that important again because we will replace it with the might or fate roll. So. Right, we want to basically copy my old healing emblem. Alright, then let's get this on. See here I have the, the new emblem, but I'm missing two legacies I need, two e-legacies, so I will level up a third age emblem. And then at level 31 I will destroy it and choose that stat that I want, and you can just click on the stat and replace it. So the first weapon to 31. You basically always want to have vocal skill healing on your emblem, um, rallying cry healing and relying cry cooldown. So that's the three pulley legacies I'm looking for. Here we have vocal skill healing. Just click on it and you see it. B legacy vocal healing you just replace it what whatever you want but be careful just take a minute here read it twice before you click it so very nice the first legacy is replaced you can see it here we have relay reline cry healing uh, vocal skill healing and we also have melee skill healing but we want to replace melee skill healing with reline cry cooldown so in this case I don't take another third H uh, symbol here, but I will show you something else. I will actually uh, destroy my my old healing emblem and um, I will not take the relics off, so... But that is... that it's... Um, it's a loop. Sorry. <laughs> it's no problem, because we can... even if we destroyed our old emblem here, we can get it back and I will show you how. Okay, you see the relics on there and when you destroy it, you you lose, the, uh, basically you lose the relics which are on there if you don't take them down with a relic removal scroll. Okay. So, I think I will just destroy it and show you how to do it, how to get it back and what we need here is Relying Cry cooldown. I will take this dead and you also see I I got a big experience bubble and few relics here. But the four uh, relics from the weapon, the handcrafted relics, is always gone. But the other three are missing right now and i show you how to get this back. First of all we need to change the last pool A legacy. So our new emblem is finished. You can see it here, replace melee. Healing, melee skills, healing. And now we have the three pull A legacies we need. You can see them right here. Shield of Dunedain we need also. And the last two we will just replace with the scrolls we got from Hunterion. First of all, there is Might and Fate. I think that's the best two stats for the captain you can use. And always be careful here. Read always twice, so you don't misclick or if you you know if you destroy anything and you don't want it to do that or you destroy something and forgot your relic removal scroll or you t took the false legacy out of it, you can always get it back. And I will show you how just right now. You see here our emblem is finished, so now I'll take care of that. Old emblem. First of all, you have to press F7, write the new ticket, and when you have done that, you can go to track tickets, and uh, Game Master will hopefully come to you soon in your IMS fenster. Okay, here he is 20 minutes later. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, and when you read the chat, you can see he already knows what this is all about. He asks me if I'm wanted to have my Captain's Emblem of the Second Age back and he can do it very quickly. You can also do it three times a year, so be very careful not to misclick or destroy something you 
wanted to keep too often. All right, you see I've, uh, I've got it back in my inventory. So now I can use the relic removal scroll and get the three relics out. The handcrafted relic is always gone, so you don't get that out, but you can make it once a week. Yo, now we get our relics out. Now we can destroy it and we can actually get another legacy and another experience bubble and some relics and gems and stuff out of it. So you can just do it three times a year, but now I just did it to show you how it works and yeah, it actually has uh, has brought me some more relics and two EP bubbles. So I didn't get gained really <laughs> anything here, but just another uh, big XP bubble. So you can also make uh, you can also get a fourth pool A legacy with a crystal of remembrance. But I won't do it in this tutorial. Now I'm using the scroll from uh, Snowborn with Might and Tactical Mitigation. It's now on our Healing Emblem. Then we take the three Third Age Emblems uh, into the legacy, Legendary Items window, I'm sorry. And we have them here, you see them here. And when I play with my friends on, on Meyer, we have three weapons to le level while we play and all right, uh, the next thing we want to do is get to the skirmish camp and get our scroll of delving. Scroll of delving gives you 10 more levels on your legendary weapon, so you don't have 60 levels, but you can max it to 70 and it will give you more points uh, to use on your weapon or symbol or whatever, and you can see it here. Now it has. 30 of 60, I'm using it and then you got 70 and you can just use the scroll once but you can also use just one scroll on one item so 70 is the max level at this time. Maybe they will raise it in the future but I don't know. Now basically what I'm doing here is just level the symbol to level 70 to the max level if you know that you don't have as much medallions and marks for scrolls of empowerment, you may want to choose uh, the stat uh, that is most important to you. See here, I just choose the pulley legacies, but basically it doesn't matter for me because I have enough uh, scrolls to level the whole emblem to maximum. And all right, let's get to the runes. We're missing our runes on the weapon. I will just show them to you. You got the basic runes, tier 1 bis 9. The basic runes are not that special, so I don't think too many people will use them. Maybe your class needs one of it, so look careful. Take your time here. I basically know what I want, so I take the estimate handcrafted relics here. And you can see you you need uh, 5,000 shards and three specific relics. If you don't have one of the specific relics, you can make them at the tier 9 area. Yeah, you can get whatever you want there for a relic and then you can make the special relics down here. Basically you see what a captain needs is faith, might, tactical mastery for outgoing healing. That's the most important stuff for the captain. Yeah, it's not bad when you have more morale because with your life, with your health, you heal your fellows. So more morale is always better. <laughs> and now we take a look at the gems. We'll show them to you. You can see the first of three gems are always 4,992 shards heavy and the uh, last two are actually like 9,000 shards but then you can choose which relics you want to use so yeah. it's not that bad all in all okay what I want to do is make me a, a new gem I think there it is with vitality fate tactical mastery that is all what a captain needs, but gives you some resistance and morale. 
Yeah, Faith brings uh, more crit since the last update 10. At some classes, and Captain is one of this class. When you play Hunter, you might want to take agility, but we we take this. And you can see I just uh, choose for tier 9 relics and need 10,000 shards, and now you can meld it. It will come instantly in your legendary items window, and you just place them on the weapon, and you're finished. Okay, last thing are the runes. I'll show them to you, just short. <laughs> but I think I will keep this uh, rune I already got, because the other things are not that good for a captain class, and... Yeah, you have to choose for yourself, but I just can recommend things, and... What you do in the end is, is your own thing, you know? I don't talk too much, <laughs> but I want other people to use. Just giving my opinion here, and... Alright, that's that, and now we need the fourth uh, handcrafted relic, so we go into the into the crafting area. You can see it here, when you I'm a weaponsmith, and if you're in the weaponsmith guild, and you level it up completely, you can acquire some special re recipes, <laughs> recipes, and yeah, that's what I'm crafting here, special recipe, you see him. It's got a numinous scepter, but don't worry if you don't see it here in your eye, in your inventory. You got it actually in your wallet. You just scroll down to crafting, and here it is, a numinous scepter. That's what we need. And now we basically just go to our guildmaster and uh, change that uh, scepter to a relic box. You can see them right here something for every class, you got something with might, crit and physical mastery, you got agility, will and faith and that's what we need, faith, more crit, more crit <laughs> with crit and more crit is always good, very nice, tactical mastery is also nice for a captain, that's exactly what we need, I can just recommend this to you, yeah that is what we take. What we need to do now is go back to the Relic Master and destroy it and then we can put it on our healing symbol or our weapon, on our legendary item. And that's that, so basically we got our our stats that we want on the weapon now, our legacies, our relics, our gems, our runes, and yeah, here it is, just put it on there and it's done. Very nice. So we still need uh, much close of empowerment and three crystals. At this point, uh, special thanks to Ameria, a very good friend of mine. Thank you very much from all my heart, Ameria. He is actually the sponsor of this tutorial, so everyone who really liked this also give me a thumbs up for Ameria, because he gave me that first stage symbol and I, I really <laughs> had not to farm it at all. So it's uh, very nice. Thing. He just gave it to me and what I'm doing here is I, I'm at the barter at the skirmish camp I'm taking one scroll of empowerment. I'm just trying if it's the right one. Always do that. Use it. Use one scroll and if it works you see it down here. Bam. Just leveled up from tier 4 to 5 and... Alright, now we can get all the scrolls we need to level up our emblem completely to max. You can actually uh, go to every city or skirmish camp you want. You find this everywhere in big cities. And you also, I mentioned you can take a Crystal of Remembrance, so that will give you another uh, Pool A legacy on the weapon. You can actually do this with the Captain emblem, Healing Emblem as well, so you have uh, melee skill healing. I know I replaced it before, but I'm just showing you a a uh, normal emblem, what doesn't need too much special fancy stuff, so... But if you play... Uh, more than just a few times a week, I would really uh, urge you to do that. So, we have equipped it in our skill bar, so we can use... Uh, s we can switch the signs in battle. 
And basically what we want to do now is just get three crystals on our weapon. So here it is. The crystals that will push your, your stats on the weapon, your head stats and stats like might and fate, your attribute stats. So it's always good for weapons because then you get more DPS, more damage and more damage is always good. <laughs> okay, you can see it here one star from out of three and it also resets all your points so it's just normal and the third all right what we need to do now is level the emblem to max and that's it for this tutorial guys so I I hope it helped you make your own emblem and this is uh, basically a good emblem for PV and PvP. And uh, don't forget to use the Crystal of Remembrance for a fourth pulley legacy. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helped you out. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you have questions, leave a comment. That's it. Have a nice future, your Quadrox. Bye bye. <laughs>